they are thought to have inspired the legend of the sea serpent. Uh, they're rarely seen and they can grow to 15 meters, that's 56 feet long. But now another oarfish has washed up on the shores of California for the second time in a week. Uh, let's speak to our science correspondent, uh, Rebecca Morell. Rebecca, you know everything there is to know about oarfish, even though they're rarely seen. What's going on? I mean, it's like a London bus. You know, you wait for ages and then two come along at the same time. I know, it's very surprising. These are incredibly rare, um, not very often seen kind of beasts of the deep, and they're both washed up in the same area. And scientists are really trying to work out what's going on, whether the two strandings are related to each other, perhaps there's some disease out there, perhaps their food source is doing really badly. And um, there's also this sort of weird rumour circulating about whether the, the strandings are linked to earthquakes. There's an ancient Japanese myth which kind of links sightings of oarfish to earthquakes, but scientists say there, there's not really much evidence to show that, you know, perhaps changes in tectonic plates could change the pressure and temperature out there in the deep oceans, right. but there's not much evidence linking the two events but, together. But they are rare, aren't they? I mean, normally they're, they're swimming at, at, at huge depths uh, away from, from, from fishing vessels and everything else. Yeah, I mean, they're found all over the world, but they're very rarely seen, and they occupy this place in the ocean known as the Pelagic Zone, and this is about 200 metres to 1,000 metres in depth, so it's really the twilight zone where you've got a bit of light reaching the ocean, but not too much, and it's the kind of place where you find the wonderful lantern fish with these all kind of hooks of light on their head so it's all, all sorts of weird creatures live uh, down and, there. And, and you're telling me that they, they hang vertically yeah. to feed they're amazing. So, so uh, until recently, we hadn't really seen much footage or any photos of them, and we thought maybe they'd swim along a bit like eels. But actually, what they do, they sort of just dangle there in the deep ocean, and they've got this lovely dorsal fin which runs all the way down their body, and they, they move up and down by sort of undulating this fin, and they feed on um, jellyfish, krill, squid. So basically, they sit there dangling in the water. They wait for a passing squid, say, to, to swim above them, and they'll just move up a bit and gulp it down. So, I mean, they look very fearsome, but actually they're quite gentle beasts of the deep. You know, you wouldn't want one nibbling your toes, really, but there's not much to worry about from them. Right, well, you need to be swimming in quite deep water exactly. to, 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 to have a nibble like that, wouldn't you? But presumably, I mean, they can do a post-mortem on these fish, and, and, and that should explain scientifically what's going on. Well, hopefully. I mean, the problem is we don't know much about their biology either, so they might do their post-mortem and still be completely mystified as to what happens. But strandings like this, it's a bit of a bonanza for deep-sea scientists because you can't really study them very easily out there in the deep. So when they turn up on shore, all sorts of scientists will be rushing out there to get their piece of oar fish. So they'll be doing genetic testing, they'll be doing, hopefully, an autopsy to find out what went on but you know it is a, a mystery and perhaps there is something wrong with the oarfish out there perhaps their food source is scarce we just don't know at the moment okay all right well look uh, with all that information about oarfish thank you it's uh, fascinating <laughs> For the second time in a week, a rare oarfish has turned up on the California coast. This fish is so rare, most of us had never heard of it before last week. This one washed ashore in Oceanside. It was more than 13 feet long. Last week, a dead 18-foot or 18-foot oarfish was found just off Avalon. Oarfish live at depths below 3,000 feet. They're rarely seen at the surface. Japanese legend has it that they beach themselves to warn of impending earthquakes. Dozens did just that on the coast of Japan before the massive quake and tsunami in 2011. We've had two down in Southern California. Let's hope there's no truth to that Japanese legend. Yeah. I don't like this one bit. I don't know. Let's